Hey, make friends, I'm gonna walk you through how to make a decal in Inkscape. So, uh, I've opened Inkscape. Now, I'm using an older version of Inkscape, but that's okay because um, the Mac and the PC versions are slightly different um, from each other, and the new version's only slightly different, I believe, from, from what you're gonna see here. So, if you listen carefully and watch carefully, note carefully um, and maybe repeatedly, you should still be able to do the project, okay? So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is size my document. And my document um, is, is this rectangle on my page. Think of it as that's my white piece of paper if I are actually sitting in an art class drawing. And your uh, size limitations for the project um, are, uh, your your decal must be at least two inches by two inches and can't be greater than six inches by six inches. Um, and I'm going to choose to make a four inch by six inch decal. Okay, so I clicked on file and I'm going to go to document properties. And the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to look for units um, because I don't think in millimeters, I think in inches. Um, and so you can see it's a regular like eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So I'm going to, I'm going to take it down to, um, I said, I want to make my decal four inches by six inches. So I'm going to make my document four and a quarter to give myself just a little bit by six and a quarter. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to hit enter and you can see, oops, except I did it six high. Uh, I did it. I did. I got my dimensions reverse. So let me do this real quick. I want it to be six and a quarter wide by four and a quarter tall. There we go. So it should look like, um, like a picture. That's roughly the size of a picture. Okay. So now I'm going to close my document properties I'm gonna hit the X button, but I want to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to go over here to the left and look for the magnifier and maybe your magnifier is up top. Okay. You all are all into technology, be it video games or phones or anything. And I know when you get new technology, the last thing you do is want a grown-up like me to sit you down, uh, sit down with you and tell you exactly what to do. So come on now, let's be problem solvers here. So I'm gonna look for a magnifying glass and then I'm gonna click on the plus magnifying glass to zoom in a bit. And then I'm gonna um, adjust my scroll bars so that I have a nice, maybe I'll zoom in one more. There we go. Um, all right, so now I need to get out of my zoom. So I'm gonna go back and click on my arrow and now I'm in, like the draw function. Now, what I want to do is I want to make um, an an oval decal is what I want to make. So, okay, I'm going to look here, my tools on the left. Oh no, oh no, Miss Makins, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't see an oval. I see a square. I see a cube thing. And I see, oh, oh wait, if I hover on the circle, create, look at it there, circles, ellipses, and arcs. So if I click and hold, I believe, nope, just click. And I can come over here and I'm gonna make my ellipse. Now, a couple of things. Yours ellipse might have been drawn in black. Your ellipse might have fill. And that's okay, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Mine happened to draw in yellow. And that's okay, because I actually want to make um, the edge of my decal or my sticker, I want to make it pink, okay? So to do that, I'm going to click on my, you can see I'm clicked on my uh, my decal because I have my, my handles here, my little arrows, okay? Um, if I click off to the side, see now it's unselected. I click on my ellipse and it's selected, okay? So I'm going to go up here to object and I'm going to look for the fill stroke option and click that. And somewhere, there it is, it took a minute. The box should pop up. Now, fill is maybe a little obvious. It's like the stuff in inside the ellipse. And so mine has an X under fill. So that means it's actually not filled in. Maybe yours is filled in, Oop, like that. I just clicked this blue box, can click the X and it goes away. So if yours has fill, 
and you don't want fill, all you need to do is click the X. But maybe you want like gradient fill. Ooh, that could be cool. Or this kind of gradient. Ooh, that could also be fun too. Okay. Um, all right. So if you want no fill, click it off. If you want fill and you want color, you can start to play around with the colors this way. I think you can also click down here at the bottom. Yep, yep. I'm going to click on my color wheel at the bottom and it changes. Okay. But again, Miss Makins, no fill. I want a white background. So I click my X. But I want my stroke. The stroke is the line, the border, um, where the machine's going to cut it. So, okay, I want my border. And your border needs to match my border. Okay. Um, and so all borders need to be, oops, I'm still somehow in fill over here. Let's go to stroke. Let's try again. Oops. Let's do this. No fill. Stroke. Peak. There we go. Okay. So now I have a pink stroke. All right. And that's just where my, my sticker is going to end. Okay. And there's the, the line for the machine to cut out the sticker. It has to be pink. That's why we're making it pink. I promise you're not going to have a pink border. Okay. Now, what I want though on my decal is I want a black oval inside my white oval uh, you know, I don't know if you've seen those stickers. Oopsie. Um, I, want, I need to undo, so I'm going to hit Control-Z. Um, those, uh, like, destination decals that um, are they're usually their airport codes. Okay, now, cool trick. I want a center. Well, first off, I don't want too pink. I need the pink for my cut line, the end of my sticker. And I want this particular circle to have a black stroke. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go down here to my color line, way over here in the corner. I'm going to click black. Oh, nope, that did my fill. Let's reverse that. Let's go back up here to stroke. Click stroke. Um, I think I also press shift, and if I click on the black there, I have a black line. Now, I want to thicken my black line. So let's go here. And the blur, I don't want to thicken it, or I do want to thicken it. Let me see, let me see. It's not the blur, it's not the opacity. Stroke style does it width, see I'm in millimeters. Strokes are typically done in points. So see how my black line's getting thicker as I click. Okay, so again, that's under stroke style, allows me to play with the width of my line. Okay, so again, what I'm setting up here is perp or the pink is where my uh, sticker is going to end. That's where it's going to get cut out. But I want a black oval just a little bit inside um, the white. So I want a little white outside my outside my uh, my black line. Now I want to center these two items. I think they're pretty close, but so I'm going to click on the black oval. I'm going to press shift and click on the pink oval. And I'm going to go up here to object. And I want to go down here. I'm looking for align and distribute. Click align and distribute. Now it says align relative to in this box right here where my, and I can go to Last selected, first selected, biggest object, smallest object, page. Let's just center everything on the page. Okay, um, so I'm going to click center horizontally, and I'm going to click center vertically, and now both are centered on the page, which also means they're both centered to each other. Okay. I'm going to make, um, for my parish decal, I'm going to make a rover decal, okay? 
So I'm going to go to my artwork. So I need to go to, I need to bring my artwork in. So I need to go to file. I need to go to uh, import and I'm going to navigate on my computer. You all should be navigating to your Google folder. Um, Nope, wrong folder. Let's go up one. Yep, there. Okay. And here I have my Rover logo, and I need to shrink it. And if I just grab it and pull, I, it gets all distorted, right? So I'm going to Control Z to put it back, undo. But if I click and then press Control, I believe. Yeah, I can't skew it all up. If I just, I can just, it shrinks proportionally for me then. And I'm going to one more time center on the page. And so there it is. There's my parish decal. So I need to save it. So to do that, I'm going to go up here to file. And I need you all to save it as an SVG. So I'm gonna go Macon's Parish Decal, SVG. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Um, well, that's not true. I'm an, I have my own make file on my computer. So I'm gonna put it in my make file because that's gonna make it easy for me to find. And I'm gonna put it in my 2122 make file. So I'm gonna put it there. But you all are asked to then upload and store stuff in your make folder, right? So if I go to Google, I go to my drive, I go to my shared drive, I go to make, and I'm gonna to pretend to be in the A class, and we're gonna pretend that there's a folder here that says, oh, let me just make one. La, 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 la. Miss Makins. And then I'm going to upload, file upload. And I have to go back to where it is on my computer. Macon's decal. Oops. It helps to actually open your folder. Now, here's the thing. Let's see if this does right. Okay, it may open so you can see it, like a, a, a glimpse at it. It may also not open at all, and that's okay. That doesn't mean it's not there. It's there, just trust me, it's all good, okay? So that's what you need to do. Um, and I should have my artwork in here too, right? If I'm a good student. So let me file, upload my artwork. Um, by artwork, I mean the logo. I need to put the Rover logo in here too to be a good student. Okay, so that's ready to go. And I've got a decal photo or a decal file and I've got my artwork. And so that's uh, step one. Bye bye.